boys and girls, it's Marcy Chevalos and it's story time. Today's story is in the Little People Big Dream series and it's called Rafa Nadal. And it's going to tell us all about this famous athlete. Let's flip the book over and learn more. We're going to get a great preview here. Little People Big Dreams, Rafa Nadal. Discover the lives of outstanding people from designers and artists to scientists. All of them achieved incredible things. Yet each began life as a child with a dream. At a young age, Rafa showed exceptional talent at tennis. With his uncle as his coach, he honed his skills on the court and became a professional player as a teenager. From there, he went on to have a record-breaking career, winning trophies and fans along the way. Rafa's hard work and determination mean that he is treasured by fans of sports everywhere. This amazing story of the tennis legend features a fact and photo section. Well, I'm excited to read this. Are you? All right. Are you ready? Let's grow. On the sunny island of Mallorca, Spain, there was a boy called Rafa who enjoyed playing sports with all kinds of balls. His love of soccer was passed on to him by his uncle Miguel, while his uncle Tony inspired his passion for tennis. Are you like him, boys and girls? Do you like playing sports a lot? I have a little boy who loves all types of balls, just like Rafa. When he was four years old, his uncle Tony gave him his first tennis lesson. From the moment that Rafa hit the ball, he showed all the qualities that make a remarkable tennis player. Coordination, flexibility, agility, and quick reflexes. Wow, he was just four. Doesn't matter how young or old you are, you can practice skills and grow. For years, Rafa split his time between studying and sports. He was the top scorer on a winning soccer team. Yet it was on the tennis court that he truly shone, winning tournaments against players four years older than him. Wow, that's crazy, boys and girls. He was so young and beating kids that were older than him. And he worked very hard studying as well. Uncle Tony became a coach and taught his nephew to dream of winning and learn from defeat. Rafa was always the first to arrive at practice and the last to leave, having swept the court and picked up all of the balls. Wow, he's working really hard. To learn and to grow. I hope you do the same with the things that you're passionate about too. Rafa's drive to succeed was so strong that once he won a tournament with a broken finger, he coped with the pain until the end of the game, but he could barely hold the trophy for a picture. Ouch! Well, he was very determined, wasn't he, boys and girls? Whether he was playing on clay, grass, or hard surface, Nothing frightened Rafa when he stepped onto the court. But even the bravest people can get scared. At night, Rafa liked to sleep with the lights on. What are some things that scare you boys and girls? Is it the dark when it's time to go to bed? Is it a type of insect or creature? Anything? We all have things that we're afraid of. And that doesn't make us any less special or talented. Everybody gets scared of something sometimes. We can still push through it and keep on doing what we're meant to do, just like Rafa does. As part of the Spanish team, he won the Davis Cup final, beating one of the world's best players. He was only 18 and had less experience than others, but his captain knew Rafa could win the match. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So even though he was scared, he still went on to do some really crazy things that are really awesome. A year later, Rafa joined the top ranks of tennis by winning two big tournaments in Monte Carlo and Rome. Still, the best was yet to come. On the clay courts of Paris, he won his first Roland Garros, one of the four most prestigious trophies in the sport. Rafa won more than 20 major titles around the world, but it was Paris that fell at his feet. He ruled the clay court of Roland Garros, winning the famous French trophy 14 times, boys and girls. Wow! 
he played the most legendary tennis battle ever against Roger Federer, another exceptional player. They met in London at a Wimbledon tournament, and after four hours and 48 minutes, Rafa won the final. I cannot believe they were playing for over four hours. Have you ever played a sport for over four hours? When your legs and your arms, when your everything starts hurting and you're tired, well, he had to keep on going, even though he might have been tired. And he won. Throughout his career, Rafa has suffered injuries to his elbow, hip, foot, shoulder, back, wrist, knee. But even when nobody believed in his recovery, Rafa returned to the court to reclaim his place at the top of the game. Who's ever had an owie or hurt themselves like Rafa has? Maybe you bumped a knee or broken a bone. It is not fun at all. It hurts a whole lot. We want to continue our lives and keep playing and keep doing what we're normally doing. But we've got to push on and wait till we are healed and then come back just like he did. Still, Rafa's not just about tennis. When Majorca, his home, was hit by devastating floods, he was among the first to help with the cleanup. And with his charity work, he uses sports and education to pave the way for future generations. That's wonderful. Even though he's done really cool and awesome things in his career, and you might do cool and awesome things when you, you grow up or even now as a young person, because he was doing cool things when he was younger too, he takes time to give back and to help others. How do you help others? Do you help your family at home? How about at school and in your neighborhoods? I hope you're just like him and you use your abilities to help make the world a better place. Even though he stands among the greatest sports people of all time, truly one of a kind, little Rafa remains what he's always been, a humble champion with an and an exceptional human being. Yeah, and here's some pictures him throughout the years. And here's more books in this series. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed reading this story. Don't forget to click the like button right now. And to hear more stories, click the subscribe button. All right, until next time, have a great day. Goodbye.